What is up everyone? I wanted to give you a little update on my tier list that is coming out. I started releasing a 13.0 tier list. I recorded it like two weeks ago uh, and then 13.0.1 came out with a balance patch. So today I'm going to be clearing up some of the questions that I have about it, which is like, are you going to do a new entire tier list? Uh, what are you going to do? What about these characters you've already done? So I'm going to be releasing the tier list still as planned, uh, but I am going to be recording little sections for characters that I think had significant enough changes that they would change their position. Uh, so first off, I want to talk about two of the bottom tiers, or I guess the unviable tier, which is DK and Piranha Plant. For Piranha Plant, I'm not exactly sure how the buffs actually changed Piranha Plant's play. It still seems very similar. I don't think Forward Tilt not being strong was, uh, it, it mattered. I don't know how much the down B mat is going to matter. It'll, I'm assuming it'll make it a little harder to edge guard. So it's good. They're definitely good, but I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I also don't, I haven't seen anything on Twitter about Piranha Plant. I don't know if down tilt still combos or like combos into more things now. Uh, so I'm still going to keep Piranha Plant down in unviable tier, but for Donkey Kong, uh, I actually think that DK's buffs matter quite a bit, at least enough to get him out of unviable tier. He's still probably the worst heavy and is at best in secondary viable tier, but the down tilt hit stun matters because it means it's going to be less minus on hit at low percents, it combos into back air at higher percents, it combos into itself a couple more times, and because DK's down tilt has a really high trip rate, it's really likely that you're going to get down tilt either immediate trip or or down tilt combo into down tilt immediate tri or trip into dash attack into grab into whatever you basically want which is really really good i think also the punch armor helps his disadvantage a little bit in getting off the ledge because you have to respect giant punch a bit more so it's not only going to be like oh it kills you at 40 off of a trip or something like that but also just uh getting out of disadvantage he has another tool and that's one of the worst parts about dk and one of the things that was scarier about smash 4 dk so having that back is kind of nice at least just like again a little bit of a help a frame two frames three frames always helps uh and i think that that's a pretty reasonable buff uh, and i think it does matter so i would bump him up into secondary viable tier just for reference but yeah i'll basically be giving little addendums that you'll see in this garb because i'm going to record at least some of them right now uh about characters that are in these different tiers in these different parts of the tier list and i'll talk about why the buffs mattered or did not matter in addition to what i was already saying about them so yeah, I hope that clears up some questions. Uh, that will be returning, I think, uh, tomorrow is my second part of the tier list, which is the secondary viable tier. And yeah, so make sure you keep out on the lookout for that. As always, social media, pen, and important stuff is down below. That was the final patch, which I'll talk about in a different video in a different way. And I'll see you all next time. Buh bye bye